Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode on SOLIDWORKS. Here I will continue working on the V12 engine series. In the last episode we did the crankshaft bearing cap. In this episode I want to make the uh, oil tank here. Uh, I will take reference from the crankshaft bearing cap from this part okay uh, what you have to do is just to isolate it and let's work on it by starting a new part okay as you can see here we have only one part here it's too easy to work on it and take reference if you are new on the channel please uh, subscribe and check on the clutch to receive more episodes on my channel uh, I will explain to you step by step how to how you can make the the oil tank and you can use it on your project or uh, take an idea to make other uh, part uh, and use the same methods as you can see here look for the extrude feature we will extrude it just you type here the, the dimension as you can see verify if you are in the best direction and click OK once you finish that we will use this surface to add a new um, sketch just click on sketch here start new sketch and you can use um, a normal if you want or you can just uh, use the the project entities or convert entities on SOLIDWORKS select this surface and here you can change the direction as you can see here just put 15 press ok and as you can see you have new uh, region in the interior you can see it here click on it or before you leave the sketch just click on extrude and SOLIDWORKS uh, refer that zone and you can put the dimension as you can see in the screen people don't hesitate to to leave me a comment if you have any question and uh, find me on Facebook I created a new a new uh, page uh, it's called Kamar now you will find it on the description you can share with me your work and uh, let's work together on this v12 engine and you will improve your skills I return to uh, to the tutorial make sure that uh, that's important to make the sketch in this side of the of the engine as you can see refer to the cylinders and you have to put it on the on the right side okay as you can see here but don't turn uh, the engine in the other side and uh, you will find uh, difficulties after that okay uh, 
you have only to add dimension to this one as you can see and dimension from that from this edge okay as you can see here it's fully defined once you finish click extrude it as you can see and extrude this this uh, this sketch or this rectangle as you can see here and the goal here is to make the the volume as you can see notice that the direction when I add this feature refer to your uh, to your cylinder block as you can see here I will hide the cylinder block because I use it like a reference to make the, the last feature and you can also uh, hide the crankshaft burning cap as you can see here okay I think all thing is all right here just to use the the fillet feature to continue working and around and make corner all on this uh, oil tank as you can see here I selected surfaces but you can select edges if you want select surfaces that save the time and select four uh, edges on the surface as you can see that's the first step on fillet because you can't select the other surface uh, at once now I will select this surface I will change the, the radius as you can see here just change it like that validate your work and we have only to add another um, another fillet here on have to pick this one and so do I take all the the tangent one and the continuous edges as you can see and then I will arrive to achieve this one but using the this feature this nice feature here the shell feature shell feature let you remove the material in the interior like an egg okay you remove material in the interior of your volume and when you select the surface you will remove the surface as you can see here okay just put the thickness as you can see and now you have nice oil tank it will be installed on the v12 engine let's leave it like that and not add the, uh, the, 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 the the holes for add bolts after that uh, it's not important now okay let's leave it like that uh, let's leave the detail on when you finish the uh, the principal parts as you can see here you can rename it that's why we put oil tank I think that's the name of the of this part you can save it as the same directory on the on the assembly and well done you finish the, the oil tank as you can see it's too easy just step by step I prefer to make uh, 10 or 15 minutes on each episode that let you work uh, work at home and when you have the time I don't want to make uh, hours on working on the episode that's uh, 
that's not good because maybe you working on other project on other uh, task okay thanks for watching i will see you in the next episode to continue building this v12 engine uh, subscribe and find me on instagram thanks